Yeah, besides the Lost Boys, man, you were in the Blob. We just I watched some yeah. clips from that. They're gonna remake the Blob. I heard. Yeah, what do you think about I that? Mean, well, I mean, you know, the, the it was already a remake, you know, from the... Well, yeah, you yours know. was a remake from the 50s. Yeah, so it's like, I, I don't feel like, like, oh, they shouldn't remake it. It's like, I benefited from it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 it's yeah. like hypocritical, you know. Are they yeah. giving you a role you in the You trying to get one? back in the blob, or did you I, die in the blob? I did not die in the blob, actually. Um, I, I sacrificed my green screen accidentally because I, I cut my hair, <laughs> uh, and I wasn't supposed to. And so they, I think they cut out my death. Mm. At least I think that's what happened. But in any case, um, so the death's not on camera. You can come back. Yeah, I like it. You that's can be what back in the new. Are they doing a sequel or is it just a remake? I don't know. Just when I was doing, you know, probably a for the remake. Show, just seeing a remake. I gotta get yeah. in that. It's like that, and also Lost Boys. They were trying to make the Lost Boys movie, another Lost Boys movie. There was. Oh, a, they gotta make a Lost Boys TV show. You know, soon, I'm pitching you know? a Lost Boys TV show Hell right yeah. now. Frog Brothers TV show. So you know, Frog we'll Boys. Yeah. Oh, would that, that be good? Would be good. Yeah. 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 I you like Corey? a vehicle for yeah, me and Corey. Yeah, yeah. it would be, be cool. Sweet, yeah. So you know, we'll see. We're trying to put it together. It's hard. It's hard. Hollywood's tough right now. Also, uh, you know, with like different things are moving around. How'd you and, go through? How was it for you during the strike? You like I the mean, deal we they signed? I mean, I, I'm not great with details, so like, I, I it seems good. I don't know. It, you know, a lot of people have problems with it. I, I'm not sure. You what know, about you, like, Alejandro? Fine. I'm not sure either. You're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> what you, happened? What was? Do you know any of the changes? Or are you just like, I didn't read it Someone yet. was telling me about <laughs> some of it. I can just work again. Sounds great. Yeah. That, that's I what thought I was it was at, more know. about streaming, no? Streaming. Yeah, yeah, that's I think. Was, that's right. That was one yeah. of the Streaming and AI. And AI, yeah. And AI, that's right. And also, my, my sister-in-law was just telling me that uh, she's an actress as well, and she was saying that there was something they did with, like, that you can shoot a whole, If you have, like... They're shooting stuff really quickly now in some things they're doing like like 150 episodes in like six months or something Damn. like Damn. that I, or something. There's like a yeah. technique of doing that. And so the, now you can take care of like a, a day player if they're in like three episodes, you can take care of them all in three days rather than having it be a, a week per episode or something like that. There's mm -hmm. like a, a restriction that's come off. So there's a, we're going to earn a little bit less somehow day players. And oh, stuff. Okay. Damn. I have another question for you. So Bruce Willis sold his consciousness or something like that. Or I know he has he's he's sick and therefore he was worried about working in the future and things like that and providing for his family. He sold his voice and his likeness. Yeah, he sold his likeness. Oh, so see. Uh -huh. what what does that really mean? Yeah, I don't know if you I, even know. I don't I don't know. I mean what I what I have sort of heard about this is that I mean, probably what you know, too, is, you know, I probably know about the same, which is like, yeah, like they can do that now. You capture, you, you go and you do scans for a bunch of days or, or a bunch of hours or whatever. I don't even know. And and then, yeah, and then they have you. And then you, you can, can use his voice and animate his character to do anything. Now. Yeah, I guess. All they need is the rights to his voice and they can make him in that's any so, that's animated another reason movie, so did like he, animated did show. Did they buy that or they did they lease yeah. that? Yeah, I'm not sure. Or, that's know, a good well, question. Not sure that's one of the things that we're yeah. striking with the actors because imagine you're an extra it's like oh, standing behind this green screen and then they got you it's like they got you for life yeah yeah exactly exactly that, so, that was one of the big issues that they sort of figured out i mean, what do you, like, mean? you can't figure it so imagine you're an extra and dark knight rises whatever they do a bunch of stunts where you're behind a green screen they got your face so they throw it in ai and they can use you as an extra <laughs> for eternity Damn, an oh, eternal girl. extra? Yeah, eternal extra. Yeah. That's crazy. And you don't get paid shit either. <laughs> What's the eternal extra clause? I don't know. That's what, they're, 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 that's what they're fighting. Well, now I should have read the contract. Like, I don't yeah, know shit. shit. I mean, the thing is, like, the thing is, this, like, if you think about commercials, <laughs> you know, it's like back when they were starting commercials, they were like, "Cool, we'll shoot it once, and then we'll play it," you know. And then Screen Actors Guild came in and was like, "Eh, you can't quite do that. You're going to have to give them a little bit of bread every time." You know, I feel like it's something like that where they're like. Uh. You when did that quit. happen? Was that always a thing for you? Like you said, you had a national commercial, you were getting yeah. paid, so it was already a deal. By the time I was doing it, it was that this probably happened in the 60s, 50s or 60s that mm. I think that they, you know, that it's like the, 
you know, what's the big example of the guy who sold refrigerators, that like famous guy, you know, who was like Mr. GE or whatever, you know, that like, you know, and I remember hear, hearing one of the, uh, like one of the SAG reps talking about it. And they're like, these people are sales people. And instead of having to go around and go into people's homes, you know, they do it on the TV, but they still, sh their pay should reflect that they're going into people's houses, you know, even though, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, so I think it's kind of, kind of like that maybe. And moving from <laughs> film to digital, how does it feel as an actor now that you have unlimited takes? Does it feel that some actors take takes for granted? You know, it, that's an interesting thing. Like, so when I was on Bone Tomahawk, uh, is a good example. So it's like they got three cameras rolling at once, and they, um, you know, there were times where actors were dropping their lines. I mean, no judgment. I mean, there was some dif difficult scenes and stuff. They might drop a line, and they'll be like, "It's cool." They just keep rolling, and the actor would be like, okay, and then go back to it, you know. So that's different than the old days where they would, they would cut it, say they want to save the film, you know. It's like they just kind of keep it rolling, and I think that the positive thing in that situation was that, you know, they didn't have to go back and do a whole new take, you know, and make the actor feel like he screwed up or whatever. They just kind of... <laughs> You know, let it go, and then it's fine. You know, uh -huh. they just cut out that portion. You know, that you ever been on where it's like, this is the last bit of film. Yeah, you gotta get it on this take. <laughs> oh, sure. It's over. Yeah, either that or this is the only time we can be at this location, and we have <laughs> twenty minutes left, <laughs> oh, and we have shit. three shots or something like that. Oh yeah. my god, that's that's really that's the most stressful stuff. I think, you know, because <laughs> then you still have to, you still have to bring it. You yeah. know, <laughs> yeah, you still have to bring the acting. <laughs> you know, but you're like, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot thing. of pressure. Yeah. So, I mean, you were in all those movies in the 80s, and then you just left Hollywood. Why would you leave L.A. and go to NYU, man? I know. I know. I, I've, I've That's you're about not that knowing decision. about partying, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, why are you already out here? <laughs> so you know I'm England, and then you leave, and you go exactly. to New York? Exactly, dude. Come on, man. I don't man. know what I was thinking. Well, then, where's your agents? <laughs> so, the, the thing Woody is, Woody like, Allen was making a lot of movies in New York. Yeah, I mean, Shit. New York was a viable place in certain ways. It's just that I... I overestimated my ability to be like, I was like, oh, cool, you know, guess what? I was here and I made, got a commercial and this and that, and then I booked Lost Boys. I'm going to go to New York and I'm going to get on Broadway, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to parlay this. Why People did were, you want to be on Broadway opposed to still just doing movies? Actors find Broadway more respectable than film. Yeah, theater. There was something about theater. Like, you know... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> which one pays more? <laughs> totally. Which one I mean, pays more? Yeah, well, exactly. Well, yeah, I mean, but also, like, okay, an I never see one person that was like, I do theater, and then they get out boop, boop, in their front. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Right. It's true. <laughs> it was not a good career move in retrospect. At the time, I was trying to be like everybody. That's because you were killing it. Lost Boys, I the was blob, it. it seemed like it in retrospect. And I, to tell you the truth, see, that's the thing. Okay, first of all, it's the partying thing. Because I wasn't partying. I wasn't out. I didn't know. I wasn't really seeing that people were, like, psyched about me. You know, I could see that if I went to something and, you know, they... But I wasn't out there kind of cultivating Yeah, that, where people you were know? hyping you up like, oh, you did a great job. Yeah, you should come and do this. And you should come. Yeah, yeah, like exactly. You, were, you should be in this movie. You know, all that stuff happens at those parties. Yeah. And, and, I'm, and I miss that. And I... And then, um, and I was also, and, but then also, you know, it's like one of the reasons I got Lost Boys is because I was trying to be that New York, New York dude, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was like, well, let's make it for real. Let's go. Let's do it. You know, let's really go to New York, have a theater career, even though I got this Lost Boys thing going, I'll let that ride. And then I'll get this theater career and they'll be like, oh my God, he, he went to New York and he has this great theater career, but it didn't work. You know, it yeah. didn't quite work that way. I went to NYU and then I came out and it was like, okay, now you're just another actor in his twenties who just got out of college. And yeah. there's millions of you. How you was know? it going to school already having some like hit movies like you can be like your professors are in there talking shit and you're like well you know like, well, let me tell you something I've been in uh, <laughs> boys and uh, the blob, been on sir. a picture you know you know no. exactly. it was tempting to be that way I have to say it was tempting especially when things weren't going well you know like if you're like working on something and you, you think you're I don't know how it is with you guys but when I'm doing stuff there are periods of time where I think I'm a total jackass like I really don't know what I'm doing and in those moments, it's nice to be able to be like, what? I know what I'm talking about. I'm a frog. I you know what I mean? I mean <laughs> <laughs> so it's tempting, you know. But I was, you know, when I was talking to this 
this theater Fonzie, class. I just scream out all the time. I'm a frog, brother. Yeah. I'm a frog. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> I need some respect. <laughs> That'll go over well. <laughs> so when I was talking to this college class uh, on Monday. And I, I, I kind of made this realization maybe even just before I was talking to them because I was like, what's going to be my angle, et cetera, whatever. And really what my angle ended up being was that when I was in college, I was just trying to be better than everybody, as messed up as that is. You know, like I wasn't, and, and it goes back to this partying thing too it, because it's not just partying. It's about valuing people and valuing relationships for the people and your interaction with the people, not for what they can do for you. And I didn't think I was that way, but I was actually, I was, I mean, and, and also there were, I have a lot of good friends too. So it wasn't like I was hundred percent that way. But when I think back, my perspective was who I'm hanging out with these people and that makes me cool. You know, I mean, I wasn't thinking it out loud at the time, but I was, overly concerned with kind of being better than or something and and i shed that in adult life kind so of recently when like in, in reality the coolest kids you ever could have hung out with were all the kids you did movies with in the 80s yeah exactly feldman haim you know the classic 90s movies kids yeah exactly. you were one of them yeah he fucking went to new york i know lost uh, your la roots that's true. what happened I, lost, I, lost my edge, you know, my edge. I was trying to get an edge you know yeah. living in la it's like you crazy can't. to think like you know what i mean you're already here doing it and you're like ah fuck it i can just come back and do it yeah and i'm gonna go to college and then when you got back how you said it wasn't the same how'd it go yeah it was like the you know you're just another actor and then you know lost boys like the people who knew lost boys fine but that was six years ago, you know, then. So I was out in 92, you know. So, yeah, it was five years ago. You did know? you have the same agent when you came I, back I from did. New York and when you got Lost Boys? So, no. I, so when I got Lost Boys, I got it. I had, like, a little, a, a really just, like, a um, classic agent, you know, that you might think, you know. Like, he, he was just in there busting in his office. He had a little office in Burbank, you know, just busting. His name was Guy Chateau. And he was just, like... Really cool, really chill, just really busted for his clients. So that's how he got me into this room, into this movie, in this big movie, you know. Then I went with a bigger agent. I went with J. Michael Bloom, which at the time, I, I think they went out of business, but probably because they didn't handle me correctly, you know. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's, what you, that's what you get. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> Tell this so, kid to go to New York, Jesus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I was with them, but the, the thing is, it wasn't, I can't blame them completely. I mean, I can try. I've tried. No, but I... <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I wasn't really booking that much. And and Lost Boys it didn't do amazing in the theaters. It wasn't like I was getting offers off of that, you know. Yeah. I was getting close on stuff. People really loved me. You know, and then they would, like... There were a couple times they, like, over overpriced me you know and i and i lost something it was a big pile that i almost got and they overpriced me and you know and then and then they were i was like i want to go to new york and study theater and you know like go to college and they were like great i want to support that and i think they wanted they didn't want to be the people who are telling a kid not to go to college i think and i wasn't booking all the time it's not like they were like oh we're gonna miss out on money Damn, good people what do you know <laughs> <laughs> you had the one good people agent in L.A. in the 80s. I mean, yeah, it also could just be that I wasn't working, and they were like, whatever. You know, I mean, I, I didn't really book much for them. I booked the, the Blob and a couple of other things, and I booked an AT&T commercial, which actually paid off better than all of it, you know, but, you know. So <laughs> that was that. Well, 